Hi Taurus, this is your reading for the 22nd to the 28th of November and I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your likes and shares and I'm using the mystical tarot, also believing your own magic and the divine feather messenger and the um, journey um, deck and the classical tarot to clarify the cards. You come in with the lovers oh no the two of cups sorry um it's just like the card lovers um you might have met your soulmate or you are dealing with somebody that is your soulmate wow that's lovely you are like two peas in a pod you feel absolutely happy with this person so you are coming in with definitely the overall energy being happy and satisfied Although you have the Eight of Cups, you are bored with what is the same routine. You want some excitement. You want adventure. Well, here you have the two swans, the two butterflies. Again, two butterflies, two dra dragonflies. So the number two is sticking out like a sore thumb. So um, make sure that if you see two, two, that you, um, and those are, that is the angels showing you a sign. With this card, I always say that it's fine to want adventure and excitement, but don't throw away old shoes before you've got a pair of new shoes. Also, you've got the hanged man in reverse, so there are no delays. So take action, start searching for something new if that is what you want. Remember, don't give your job up because the bills will still be coming in. So don't change your job until you've got another one. There is an ending coming to this boring uh, routine or this, this, this time as you have the death. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you are no longer the caterpillar. You are the butterfly. Look at her looking at the butterfly. You're in transition to trans and transformation. You are going to be beautiful and you're going to be stronger and you'll have gained experience and knowledge and you're not scared of competition because we've got the five of ones here and that means competition or disagreements that are short-lived now it is good to have competition it keeps us on our toes and also let's see what the uh, classical tarot says you've got the six of swords there you go you're moving on you're moving from uh, rough waters to quieter waters and also the delays are over like i said you could be even crossing water there will be celebrations the three of cups well you can see me shaking the cards and i'm um, not sorting the cards out i'm just taking the cards that are literally popping out so there will be celebrations with family and friends or perhaps with your soulmate Woohoo! because you've met or perhaps because you've met your soulmate it doesn't have to be a partner a soulmate can be a best friend for life you do and think things alike and sort looks for sort you also have the empress so you could be dealing with a libra uh, perhaps Libra time and Scorpio time have been very changeable for you. Remember, we are going into Sagittarius next. Um, also, there is full moon on the 19th and the eclipse season is starting and that will be with us until 2023. Well, you have the best reading of the whole lot. Celebrations, wish coming true, uh, new times being fertile for new projects or getting pregnant if that is what you wish um, what you sow you shall reap is also what I'm hearing but nurture what you have sown make sure that you know what you have sown then you will also know what you're going to harvest be careful of drinking too much celebration is fine the wish or goal coming true and here it could be if something legal or official that is coming true because we've also got the justice card again libra libra is quite prominent so you will be back in balance i think you are in balance because you've got the six here and six means balance also um like i said you're no longer the caterpillar you're the butterfly 
So spread your wings. You might be spreading wings. You might be branching out if you've got your own company. Um, you could be specializing in something that is also branching out. So awesome. You could be forming a partnership in business or in love. And we've got the word eternity here. It means it might have taken an eternity to get where you are now. Also, I feel that um, something will be together. You could be together for eternity if this isn't a partnership. Awesome. Lovely, lovely card. This, uh, I'm going to read from the book. Um, I think it's more that it might have taken a long time to where you want to, to get to before your wish and goal is fulfilled. The stars are not randomly falling. They have created a path to you that you should consider following. There is a magic surrounding the woman in, the, in this card. She's under a spell and is con contemplating her place in the universe her purpose and her importance to the ones she loves. Boom, boom, boom. This card comes to you because there is a magic ar around you as well prompting you to start your journey of self-discovery. Don't be afraid and though, even though it appears scary at first, you're not scared of the competition. Try to wake up and you will soon find exactly what footprints you will leave in this lifetime. So make plans. You could be making plans with somebody to stay with each other or be friends for eternity. Wow. You also have the bitch fire. Stand up for yourself. Okay. Believe in yourself. Stand up for yourself. Do it in a nice way, in a clear way. Be transparent. Say what you mean and do what you say. You've got number 16, which is 7. Again, a lucky number. Beautiful reading. It's a quick and short reading, really. But it's so straightforward, this reading. It's flabbergasting me. You've also got the wren. The wren means, um, let's have a look. You, it looks like a ladder going upwards, so you could be ambitious, so you are going upwards, you're beating the competition, awesome. You're leaving difficult times behind or boring times, you could be moving home or going on holiday and you will be celebrating big time this week, Taurus. Be bold, yes, be bold and confident and go for what you want and stand up for yourself knowing what you want. Use all of your resources to create your dreams. Well, you are doing that. Your dream is coming true. Awesome. This is the quickest reading I've ever had. <laughs> and I'm so sorry it's only a, a little bit of a, a, a reading. But, you know, I mean, with The Hanged Man, it's just so simple. The, de the delays are over. But maintain that practice to take time out for yourself. Also, quality time. I think that's what you've been doing. You've cut uh, since May. You've been going up, 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 and away. You have really come out into the sunlight. You have been looking after yourself, and you've been advancing. Like I said, you've gained experience and knowledge. You're ready to beat the competition because you do meditate or contemplate and evaluate each step of the way and you are going and you're on your path and you have good cards. Touch wood, you have good cards every single week since May. It's amazing how Sagittarius and Gemini as well. Those are the, the biggest ones that I've noticed are changing the energy. I think it's you that's changing the energy and it's shining and coming through the cards. Thank you for your positive energy, your input, your support, especially in 2021. You're awesome. Take care, my darlings, and stay safe and know that I'm live on Wednesday 
and Friday or, and, or Saturday, depending if I'm collaborating. Please join us in the life uh, if you can and if you would like to get your free card. There's also the option of the super chat. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Thank you.